my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop. And then um, I'm going to use a size I haven't used for tutorials before. So let's go to new here and then let's go to um, the document you know, settings. Now I want it to be A3 size and so I'm going to go to print here and then I'm going to scroll down and choose A3 over here. This is the size it gave me millimeters. That's good. Let's set here to 300. I'm going to send it to RGB for now because I want you to guys to watch it on the screen with maximum quality. But um, once it's time for printing, I'm going to convert it to CMYK. All right. Okay. So create and then I'll go to view here and then i am going to new guide layout and then i'm going to set here to six going to set here to six set here to one 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 if you can't use it just click on these um you know things over here and then it's going to come set here to one inch across and then click on okay and then let's start with our background okay our background what are we going to do with the background i first want to start with a solid color and i'm going to choose this particular color code i'm going to choose eight two one seven two one and I'll click on OK. And then perhaps I'll bring my uh, what's this called? This is um, you know pillar pillar pillar. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that a pillar? You are the pillar that holds my life. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Okay, I also want it to be in the middle because um, I want a little bit in the middle, maybe somewhere here a little bit. Okay, so that I'm going to put the image over here, and then this is going to show, and then a little pillar over here, and then it's going to be great okay so i want it to also blend in ctrl zero i want it to also blend in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click over here and then i'm going to set it to multiply uh, let's start let's, if I, let's put it in a group all right and then let's call it uh bg now bg all right let's also bring in our image all right so i'll drag it this one in there and um, photoshop cc 2018 gives you the luxury of dragging image in there I don't know the version of Photoshop you are using, but if you're using Photoshop CC 2018 and up, it's likely possible you can do that. All right. Okay. So, um, this is it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I just want to make sure it's, you know, uh, hold shift and then you can drag it. Well, maybe I'll stick to this. Okay. So I think I'll stick to this. Now I'm going to put this in a group and then I'm going to call it image also i just want to give you some little curves because i feel like the it's quite not nice and stuff like that i want to boost the white up a little bit you know yes 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 i love it i love it okay maybe i just want to make sure the this side is not affected so i'll click on the mask over here click on my brush or my b and then come and pick um this one and then also make sure here's color black Make sure here's 100%, here's 100%, and then increase the size of the brush a little bit, and then mask here. Okay. That way, it's not too... It's such a... Alright, so, I like it, I like it, I like it. Alright, so don't can see some little details in the white over there. That's good, that's good, that's good. We can work with that, we can work with that. Let's close it. Let me make it capital letters um also let's bring in some shapes all right so let's just draw some shapes over here like that and then let's double click it let's make it color white but then we also want to give it some stroke so let's go here and then maybe come here click over here let's give it a you know a color code okay so i am going to make it eight two one seven two one all right okay and then i'm going to set the size over here to um 30 sorry 32 enter what <laughs> all right 32 all right so 32 is good put it in a group let me call it shape right let's close it to i think we are getting somewhere yeah we are getting somewhere we are getting somewhere let me add some glue to it let me create a layer like that all right let me click on my brush to go here and pick soft round brush nice make sure caps log is off 
and then let me come here and choose this particular color code i'm going to choose f 17 e 8 9 all right and then maybe i'll paste somewhere here okay and then i'll come here and i'm going to set it to uh, what am i looking for linear light i like it let's click on the move tool let's move it somewhere here let me duplicate it ctrl j to duplicate it now i can feel the effect let me increase it a little bit i like the way it spills on the hands and then duplicate it one more time let me bring it somewhere here also okay let's put everything in a group and let's call it glow and then let me start with our text now right i mean we have to start with our text now right uh so let's call it weak and then um which font should we use which font should we use which font should we use i'm going to use quicker and then let me in fact let me give it a number over here i'm so i'm using quicker quicker font okay it's going to be in the description for you to download i'm going to set it to 98 and then also set here to zero and then make sure yes all clicked so that it looks kind of like that and then control h let me close it control h to bring our grade or lines let me put it somewhere here all right and then let me go and bring in my foil drag it in there and then maybe drag it somewhere here right click it and then create clipping mask all right click on your move tool and then move it there like that move it there like that okay that is good click on your text to type over here and then let's let's pick one let's pick one let's paste one over there okay we can use the same font but we just want to bring some contrast in there so we're going to go here and we're going to click on creating demo creating demo all right also make sure this is not the like small letters okay now let's come over here and then let's give it 185 make it quite bigger i love that click on your move tool and then move it somewhere here and then also let me bring it somewhere here a little bit um what should we do let's give it here zero and then let's give it color white i think it's beginning to stand out ah uh, that's good let's type here too and let's type observation let's paste it there but we want to use a font that is quite legible so let's use montserrat great the font size let's use 50. so it let's move it oh no let's move it somewhere yeah in fact i want to make it uh should i make it all caps okay let me leave it like that no problem all right so you guys can see it right you guys can see it uh, so we're going to leave it like this but then i still want to add some few designs to it so i'm going to click here right click here and then pick a rectangular so all right i'll click here and set it to color white and then ctrl j to duplicate it ctrl t to transform it right click it and then flip uh, in fact let me come here rather rotate 90 and then alt and shift at the same time just drag it in now click on your move tool or v and then move it up sweet now the two of them let's drag it let's drag it somewhere here sweet uh let's put everything in a group should we and then let's call it one week ah uh, that is it that is it that is it now let's start with the other text as well in fact the name let's type over here let's bring the name to as helenicria aqua helen aqua aqua <laughs> guys it's not aqua in ghana it's called equia even though it looks like aqua <laughs> i am going to use niagara solid all right niagara solid click on it then the font size i'm going to use one for one delete everything one for one enter all right so let me drag it make sure it hits here too as well let me bring it down here a little bit 
okay now it's not legible right people can't see it was let's drag this one in there again and then let's resize it we might click on shift and then i resized it i resized it i resized it and then right click and then um create clipping mask now oh, i want it to look quite nice i'm gonna put it somewhere here awesome and then also i just want to give it some little effect as well and so i am going to double click here on helen aqua and then i am going to i'm just go to stroke let's go to stroke i'll set here to 20 okay and then um let me see set here to outside 100 and then over here let's click here and then let's use gradient okay and then click it and then let's double click here and then let's type 8 c 1010 okay and then let's come over here let's type 4 2 0 um 202 let's see all right okay and then let's click on align with layer let's click here make sure it's linear the scale is set to 100 and then let me see let's leave the angle here to minus four i think i think i'm good i'm good i'm good let's click on ok i like how it looks like now um let's type underneath it as well let's pick false in and let's paste false in there let's drag false in up let's drag false in up okay right click it let's release it let's release it it's not to be released let's drag it somewhere then turn it back up there again all right uh force and force which font are we going to use let's use montserrat all right and then the font size let's use um 79.9 great also i feel like we should make it all caps let's click here let's make it color black right and then let's make it bold over here nice and then let's move it make sure it touches it as well um yeah double click it let's go to stroke and then let's set here to color click here let's set it to color white and then the color over here the size over here to 20 outside over here click on okay and then we are done okay so let's put everything in a group let's call it name i want to drag it down a little bit good 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 good. i think this one is great and then let's start with some text over here as well let's type over here and then let's pick let's pick this let's paste it there now we are going to use impact impact regular like i said it's going to be in the description for you guys i don't want to use real black i just want to use this uh around this color black right all right in fact let's go back to false and let's not use real black let's use the same color as that black as well all right um let's drag it make sure it hits here now you know what makes it beautiful is the way when i take off the lines control h you see it looks straight like that it looks straight like that okay that's what makes it beautiful okay you don't want it to be too scattered and doesn't look too aligned you want it all to look like that all right so let's go here we are going to set here to um 179 right uh let me see okay impact here we're also going to make it regular as well let's set here to let's say 64 right 64 oh yeah set here to zero make sure here's all oh, this here's black yeah we are cool we are cool we are cool uh, okay so now let's move it a little bit away now let's type here again and then let's pick on tuesday and let's paste it there now with this one we are going to use montserrat for it okay but then um using montserrat i don't know let's not make it caps or should we let's make it caps let's leave it like that here let's set it to um boot over here 
nice and then let's set the size here to 32 okay okay and then um here as well zero as as usual and then um i want to let's make sure uh boy, let's okay let's make sure we use a reddish color in there so maybe i'll pick that one or i'll pick, pick this one maybe come down a little bit right not bad and then um let's duplicate it and then let's drag it down and then let's pick this one and paste it there nice now let's open our character again we are still using Montserrat. Um, let's set here to medium okay and then let's set here to three three nice and then set here to zero as well let's set here to uh let's pick your caps okay we'll come back to the color later on but let's pick this and then let's zoom in all right now I zoom in because i want to be as accurate as possible um let's bring it up to here drag it here nice i'll double click it and i'll pick this color and then click over here on it click on your move to or the move piece over here as well drag it up and then change the color over here in fact you can click here come here and change the color to color white and then move it click on uh, shift and then use the arrow keys to move it okay somewhere like this is good okay now let's put this in a group let's call it date um the venue the venue let's type over here as well um let's see anyway let's pick this um and then let's paste it there paste it there let's come here let's choose the black again uh we are going to use impact so the regular set here to 67 and then let's set here to 67 to let's see mm, not bad let's move somewhere here and then let me see let me see let me see let me see everything is caps over here sweet sweet i love that guys guys i forgot to tell you guys this for the from the first start from the get-go make sure here is 100 and here is 100 throughout all your text so if your text is not like that please correct it that is how i like to do my stuff okay 100 100 all your text should always be 100 100 unless i see otherwise okay that's a common mistake that i realize most people do a lot um well it's not a mistake it's a, it's a kind of taste all right so that's really not my taste but i wish you could do that yourself let's pick this color and then let's click on okay now i'm going to put it in a group and i'm going to call it location location is a french word um if you don't understand please ah uh, i don't know that's my version <laughs> ah location all right so let's put it here i don't know i don't know i'm still happy to do i don't know what i ate could be the gobe the gobe gobe they're sizeless gobe is sizeless guys gobe is sizeless if you're if you're not in Ghana, i don't know what gobe is gobe is beans you know beans and gary let's type over here and then let's pick this gobe is sizeless okay so let's open character and then let's go to montserrat as usual y'all know i like using montserrat a lot and then regular over here and then let's use 21 over here as well and then we'll keep here zero and then let's make sure here is caps and then i'm um, we'll change the color very soon Control h to bring the lines Control t to transform it let's push it to the middle so that it becomes middle aligned very important guys very important middle aligned all right also i like to click over here and then construct it from here all the way to here and then drag it down okay some of you ask sometimes your flyers look simple but and, and beautiful but when i do my own mine is not like that it's because sometimes your alignment is wrong the alignment is wrong really wrong so i'll click here character here come and click here and just choose color white you could pick it over here come here and pick it over here as well but i know you guys know how to pick the color right 
because you guys are pro and then i'm going to put the tambo in the middle also make sure it's in the middle of the whole thing don't don't drag it here no 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 and don't drag it here Control h bring the line you see this line over here it gotta be in the middle guys it gotta be in the middle these are the little things that when they all come together overall make your work look nice okay so i'm selecting these two and then i am dragging it quite closer to it quite closer to it okay now let me zoom out a little bit there's too much space over here i don't know i don't know why i left too much space over there but let me put everything in the group and then let's call it all accordiale yeah that will explain it so i'll select this i'll select location i'll select date and then i'll drag it down a little bit more all right and then perhaps i'll select shape and then i'll bring it down also a little bit more so you see because you group everything in 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 in, in folders it becomes easier for you to do your stuff you see all right so uh let's see how it looks like i don't know about you but i think this looks good and then i think we should we need to add the you know the date or the age or whatever over there to make it complete i'm going to pull this one in there and i'm going to leave it somewhere here now if you're wondering you want to download the stuff that i used over here guys it's in the description I, you know i'm never going to let you guys no I'm, I'm not going to do that i'm a good guy and then let's go here what should i do let's give it Montserrat as usual um why because that's that's the font that i think works well for me i want to set here to boot and then i want to set here to 96 so now you see it's it's really i can put it in the middle here like that you see gosh so tired it looks nice it looks like now that's just by the way let's click over here and let's give it a color e c b seven six sorry six a all right uh, it looks like the colors in there that's what makes it beautiful and then um let's make sure here it's also clicked all caps over here now let's start with the effect double click it and then let's start with the effect um the first effect we want to start with is the bevel and emboss let me bring it here so that you see the effect in real life okay bevel and emboss let's click on it as well now bevel and emboss i'm going to use inner bevel i'm going to set here to smooth I'm going to set here to 126. I'm going to set here to up. I'm going to set here to 117. I'm going to set here to 3. Nice. And then here 90 as usual. And then I'm going to set, um, what else should I do? Set here to um, 30. We are going to use global light over here. Click over here and choose this. Fairly important. Now click over here as well. And then let's choose f d eight four three e nice right set here to screen choose here 50 percent let's come over here to let's set the color to five e three zero five nine click on ok set here to multiply set here to 50 percent now we are not done yet we are not done yet we are not done here let's come here to stroke click on it and then let's set the stroke over here to four nice set here to outside all right and then also over here let's set it to color click over here and then let's choose a f three eight six zero all right so i want to pick some 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 color like this and then click on okay and then i'll click on ok so you can see it blends nicely in there um that is what we are looking for now let's click over here and then let's pick years and paste it in there now we're going to use color white and then we are going to use montserrat as well we're going to use regular regular the font size let's use 21 quite small right and then let's drag it in there somewhere here okay drag it up a little bit more all right make sure yes caps all white 20 but well, let's make it 22 make it a little bit bigger all right drag it here a little bit 
um yeah that is it let's put it in a group and then let's call it age and i think we are done but you know my signature i always want to conclude with a gradient map so i'm going to click over here i'm going to click over here double click here and then let's start with a margin i am going to choose one three zero is zero nine so no worries um click over here <laughs> click here over here set it to 25 click here over here set it to 50 click here over here set it to 75 and then that's it so now over here let's double click here let's choose 583c39 uh, looks quite nice right it looks nice let's double click here let's use nine four seven two six a looks nice man looks nice let's double click here let's use um d zero b a b zero awesome and then over here let's just pick up here like that no anything up here and then that is it that is it come here let's use soft light and then we uh yeah done we are done guys all right guys so if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well guys remember i love you all see you in the next episode or tutorial peace